Hi Libra, welcome to your August Predictions Tarot General Reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Libra. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. The only take what resonates with you, and Libra doesn't for someone who really needs to hear this message. So Libra, I decided to do this reading on the Lionsgate Portal 88 today, and I am going to hit every aspect of your life of what you need to know right now in August, career and finances, love and romance, and anything else that spirit wants to bring up, I want to fill you in on what you need to hear about August, what's to come, or maybe anything you need to hear right now in this moment. So I'm really excited to do this reading for you guys. I hope you are too. Let's go ahead and get this started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear, set the energy, and do a mini meditation with you guys. But if you just want to jump right on into the card poll to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you here with me now, thank you for joining me. It really does help me connect to your energy by doing this. So I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in. I'm going to ring the sound bowl three times. And during that time, I want you to open up your energy to ask the questions you may have in regards to your life, what's to come, what you need to hear right now. And we'll see what spirit has to say. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Libra. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and see what spirit wants to tell you about your month in August, anything to come to be aware of, anything you need to hear right now in this moment. Let's first take a look at the general energy going on for you guys in the month of August. Tell me about the general energy for Libra. For Libra. Okay, there we go. Let's see. So we have, oh, the sun. I love it. Especially for like Leo energy. I feel like you guys are kind of coming into your own. You really have kind of let something go for the best. And the energy that it feels right now is so uplifting. I see that you're smiling a lot more, Libra, or someone's complimenting you on your smile. I just feel like you have this glow and this energy to you that feels like I can do this. I am happy. I'm grateful. I know there's more to come and I'm going to look towards the positive this month and stay in that positive energy, that positive mindset. Yellow is going to be a very powerful color for you this month. I wonder if some of you are wearing yellow right now. Yellow is your favorite color, but I definitely feel like you are kind of bringing in that powerful, confident energy with that solar plexus chakra that you're really connecting to, to kind of look forward to August. There's something to look forward to is what I'm hearing here for a lot of you guys. And look at those sunflowers. That may mean something to you on a personal level. But it says, open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. Love it. So yeah, I do feel like you have like a reason to be really excited. You have a reason to kind of look forward. You have opportunities coming in that I feel you are seeing the growth that you've been doing maybe up these few months. Maybe you've had to do a lot of things that were challenges, setbacks, but I think looking back at it now, you see how positive it was for you in the end for what's really unfolding in August for a lot of you guys. It feels very blessed, very positive, um, and I love it. Let's go ahead and see a card for you guys for career and finances. Oh dear, okay. <laughs> Career and finances. I'm hearing debts being paid. So I wonder if those are karmic debts or some of you guys are paying off loans, paying off, you know, anything that you need to ooh, pay back. But look, you may have the opportunity to do so with windfall here. It's raining for you guys and money 
finances. And if you haven't seen it yet, you'll see it by the end of the month. You're about to receive a windfall of money or a pay raise. Money is currently in a positive cycle. This is a great time to treat yourself or make that big purchase. Okay, so some of you guys need to know, like, if there's something you've been saving up for, I feel you guys are going to see that budget being hit and you could spend it on that big you know, purchase you want to make, whether that's a new home, a new car, new clothes, something that you definitely are having the opportunity to treat yourself with. And yeah, again, some of you guys could getting a pay raise, a promotion. I do feel maybe even for some of you, if there was that debt paid, maybe someone owed you money and you're going to get that um, coming in for you guys. But definitely a growth in your finances, positive growth here. Love it. Tell me more about love and romance for Libra, and then we'll do a deep dive. How's love and romance looking for my Libras? Spirit. Tell me about love and romance for Libra. Ooh, unrequited love. Okay. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So for some of you guys, okay. I feel like there has been someone romantically that you guys have had an on and off thing with. It's getting really old. I wonder if they are just like, you know, an old horse trying to do new tricks, but you're already 10 steps ahead of them. I do feel more so, Libra, again, you could always flip the roles, but you're the one that's kind of over it. And I feel this person doesn't really understand that, doesn't really get that. They think that there's still an attempt to kind of salvage this with you. But it, it's just, I feel, someone feels like someone can't grow and change the way I'm growing and changing. And if you can't continue that evolution with me, I'm going to have to leave you where you're at because I'm moving forward here. So I kind of feel, Libra, like maybe this was the thing where you kind of had to karmically let go of and maybe it was a karmic attachment or just something that wasn't catching up to your growth and I do feel like almost player play, play yet energy they're very flirty and um you just feel like they never took that motive or chance to focus in on you that way like you felt like they were just going to do their own thing and that's fine but I want something specific here and I don't think you can give that to me so maybe some of you guys are kind of facing that unrequited love situation here. And even if you guys are the one that you feel still very in love with someone that you feel it's unrequited, I feel like spirit wants more for you. And that's why it isn't working. Because what they're trying to bring to you is very minimal. And you deserve a whole feast, Libra. You don't deserve breadcrumbs that this person keeps giving to you. So maybe even spirit had to like remove this person from your life in some way to see the potential that you can have that could outgrow anything that you tried to make happen with this person. I'm seeing a mustache very specifically. Maybe someone's growing one in or this person has a mustache. I don't know. But you know, I think for a lot of you guys, this person's going to want to start up something again that you're just not feeling the same passion for. All right, let's go into the tarot to dive deeper into this energy here. Three events that are happening for my Libras in August. Three events that are happening for my Libras in August. I keep on hearing birthmark. Someone may have a very noticeable birthmark, whether that's like on, you know, their face or on their legs I'm seeing. So first five of autumn, yes, manatee, focusing upon the negative or worrying about money or your career can block your progress. Because your trust and faith are at a low point right now, it's not the best time to start your own business or become self-employed. I feel for a lot of you guys, this is what you're going through currently right now, or maybe, you know, in the beginning of the month, you feel as if maybe, you know, that one big break isn't going to happen, but spirit is begging you to keep a positive mindset, even if things have been slow, even if some of you guys have felt like it hasn't been coming in I promise with windfall it will but you know the negative thinking and the uh you know scarcity type of energy is going to block this windfall that's trying to come to you Libra now others of you this may not have anything to do with career finances it has to do with unrequited love 
And so with the five of autumn here, whether you're ghosted or you're kind of ghosting someone or you're just kind of breaking things off, I feel this unrequited love, this person who thought they could do their same thing over and over again without changing, had no idea that you were going to leave like this. And I feel they're having a hard time accepting that. They're missing you. They may be texting you and trying to like get your attention and you're just kind of not feeding into it because you know from you know repetition or just who they are you read them very well you know them like the back of your hand there's just not going to be improvement here and you know there's not nothing else for you to kind of grow from this situation tell me another thing happening nine of spring wow look at that so then we have gazelle you've worked hard and what you've created is impressive and worthy of protecting annoying challenges may pop up but don't worry you'll get through them just as you have in the past yeah that's what i was kind of saying libra like i feel as if there's a lot that you have been through that um you've created a warrior spirit within you and i feel that warrior spirit is coming full force in august and i feel it's providing you that strength to keep going to kind of have your boundaries but pursue the things you know that are worth fighting for i feel as if people are kind of astonished to see the growth you've been doing and how you've been protecting yourself and how strong you really are is impressing a lot of people here so yeah if there's a few annoyances that could pop up like again i think there may be even little tests from spirit to see you know has libra learned this has libra developed enough to kind of know how to handle this and when they see that you pass those tests man your spirit team and others in the 3D world are going to be very, very impressed. It's almost like a comeback here. And even with the Five of Autumn, if you experience some sort of setback financially or even romance in the beginning, I mean, it's temporary. You're not going to let that get you down. You still have the fire, the passion, the need to push forward to do what you have to do in order to change something here. What about the end of the month for Libra? Someone's been working on their cardio, um, and that's like something where I think it's been helping someone a lot, kind of move on from stressful, tense situations. Um, anyway, for a summer, tortoise, your responsibilities may distract you from noticing all the gifts that God is presenting to you. Be open to investigating opportunities that come your way. Okay, so Libra, spirit wants to tell you ahead of time that there may be an opportunity coming in at the end of the month that may not be as flashy or noticeable at first, but something you really need to pay attention to. And I feel like you're going to have a gut feeling like that, but you're going to want to say, oh, no, maybe it's not that. I don't want to get my hopes up. No, your gut feeling really is telling you that there's something that may appear small or, um, you know, not so significant actually becomes pretty huge. Prince of Autumn, look at that. Look at those coins falling around and look at this money falling around. Yeah, your hard work really is going to pay off and it is going to fully pay off by the end of the month. So it says, it's important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavor. Once you have that plan in place, then you can take immediate action and get as much accomplished as possible. So Spirit really is saying, Libra, that it's really important right now to organize, to plan. This is someone who's trustworthy, dedicated, protective, and funny. So we have Taurus, Sagittarius, Cancer, and Virgo energy here. So I kind of feel overall that, yeah, there is going to be like a small type of setback in the beginning, but it's so not effective because you have the reasons, the means to pick yourself back up again and find something else to pursue or to do it a different way. And in that, I feel like you are creating some sort of stability in your life that kind of felt like it was out of your control or nothing you could really do to fix it. You're making it happen. And with the forest summer at the end of the month, you may be a little bit burned out emotionally. Um, what I have to say is to kind of make sure you don't get burned out because when we're burned out, we're not as open to seeing or excited to see the things that could be presented to us that take us to that next level because of our energy levels. So definitely you need to find a way to kind of resource yourself to get back into that warrior spirit when you do kind of feel a little bit burnt out, a little bit down, a little bit bored. 
you have to respark that in some sort of way. And maybe some of you guys are really seeing that when you give yourself that chance, when you give yourself that extra push, that's when you really make things happen. You are one that spirit God, the universe knows can handle so much that comes your way. And with the bigger challenges, the bigger the rewards, period. So I, I just have to keep your mind open to this for a summer at the end of the month. What may not appear significant actually has a lot more promise, okay? So listen to that gut feeling. Um, let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Tell me more about the five of autumn here. Five of Cups, wow. Yeah, two fives here. So your birthday could be October 5th, October 15th, or September 25th for a few of you. You could be seeing a lot of fives. 55, 555, five, five, which is major changes, but changes that are meant to happen for the best, okay? Ooh, the Emperor, yeah. Aries energy. Uh, let me get all these cards out first and then we'll clarify each. What about Nine of Spring? King of Pentacles, I know that's right. Forest energy with what else with the Nine of Spring? Page of Wands, love it. Yeah, you're getting that fire back to not let this hold you down. It's a comeback and I love it. What about the Forest Summer? What is the specifically that I felt the need to let um, Libra know? Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, and the Lovers. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. Wow. So things really are moving along. You may not notice it at first, but as you continue to move forward with the right mindset, you are going to see the progress, the change, the growth. And to continue to keep that idea or to keep that vision and to hold it is going to be the most important thing for you, Libra. Okay? So... First with the Five of Autumn, with the Emperor, and the Five of Cups. I feel the Emperor is the Divine Masculine here. Now, there's different situations that could be happening. This Masculine may be going through some really hard times right now. They may be dealing with a lot that has taken a toll on them emotionally, maybe some sort of financial setback. And um, they may be in a different type of energy right now. They're not as loving. They're not as engaged. Some of you guys, um, yeah, they're they're really hitting a hard time in their life. So again, whether this is someone that you know is just going through a rough time and you're going to be there to help them, or this is them kind of just really realizing that they didn't do enough to step up for you, Libra. They didn't take accountability. They didn't take responsibility. They didn't take the action they needed to do to solidify it and hold it down. In a lot of ways, I think they took you for granted. So I feel that's what kind of led to, you know, the five of pentacles between the two of you, where you feel like there's not much more to go off of this. There's breadcrumbs. I'm not going to be the one to eat these. So if you're throwing them out, eat them yourself. You know, that's the type of energy I feel. But what you don't see is how much this is actually impacting them and affecting them. The I could have, I should have, I would have, that they're kind of in. And I feel with the emperor now all of a sudden, because they see where they're at with you, they may be trying to, you know, now finally take the steps that they should have done a long time ago. But I feel like even with that, you know that there's not much of a difference because if they cared before, they should have done it, period. Um. Wow, yeah. I also kind of see for a few of you, there could be a coworker, a boss, or a manager that's losing their job. Um, that you're going to miss them or that you're going to miss their presence, but you may be having the opportunity to take their spot for a few of you or you're in discussions of that, okay? Now, with the Nine of Spring, with the King of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, this is your go time. You know, anything that, like again, with the Five of Pentacles that could come as a challenge, you're not, you're not going to let that take over your um, disappointment, your... A lack of enthusiasm. I do feel there's a fire being like burned inside you to still get up and fight and make this happen no matter what. And I feel with the King of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, it does have to do something with providing stability in your life, being that rock for someone in your life, or to kind of maintain something financially here. And with the Nine of Wands, yeah, this is going to take some effort. This is definitely going to take some action on your end. But I feel with the Page of Wands, you're kind of excited about it. 
you're up for the challenge almost in some ways. And with the King of Pentacles, you know that if you execute this, if you ace this, it's going to lead you to a very wealthy, prosperous future for you. I do wonder for some of you guys towards the middle of the month, you know, where maybe in the beginning it wasn't the time to act on it. There was things that you kind of had to address, manage, understand. Middle of the month may be the time to kind of go out there and get it for yourself, Libra. Um, I do feel like with the nine of wands in the middle of the month, especially in career and finances, you're impressing a lot of people. You're taking the chances, taking the risks, putting yourself out there. That is definitely getting noticed by a king of pentacles, okay? So at the end of the month with the four of cups and the seven of pentacles with the lovers, Wow. Okay. So Taurus energy very strongly here. Cancer energy and um, Gemini energy. <sighs> yeah, I feel like, again, maybe some of you guys with kind of coming out of that unrequited love, you closed a chapter in your love life. And whether this was beginning of the month or in the last few months, I feel like maybe you've kind of have put love and romance a little bit on the back burner. But I really do feel there's going to be someone coming into your life that it doesn't, you know, at first maybe you don't notice them as much, but I think they're going to have significant impact. I do feel this could be twin mate, soulmate energy here. This is like something where I feel more so from their end, a fire, a desire, a love at first sight when they meet you, see you, than you kind of have on your end. But I think maybe there's a little bit of resistance because of what you've been through emotionally. Again, emotionally, romantically burned out. So, you know, the enthusiasm isn't as strong, but I do feel they're very good looking. I do feel that they're very charismatic, very smooth, but you may be taking your time with it. All I gotta say, is that it's fine if you take your time with it, but I feel as if this person knows what they want and goes for it, and they are kind of the person that shoots their shot, and if you kind of ignore them for too long or don't, you know, um, give them enough to feel like it's worth pursuing, they may kind of burn out in itself, and they may kind of put this on pause until you're ready to move forward here. Um, but a lot of you, yeah, I gotta say, with the seven of pentacles and the lovers, something may be coming in that you did not think was going to happen so quick, whether that is a new romance, whether that is a new opportunity. And you may be wondering, is this too good to be true? Like, can I really depend on this because this happened pretty quickly? Like, I thought this was going to take a lot longer than it should have. The lovers here is saying this is in divine timing. God, spirit, the universe sees that you're ready for this to come into your life energetically and they're bringing something to match you energetically Libra so do not doubt it okay it's going to feel very strongly linked to your sacral chakra I just want to confirm that for a lot of you guys here also I feel dietary changes at the end of the month may be something you're looking into maybe something that will help any physical symptoms like I'm seeing whole foods whole grains vegetables um you know, just very, very clean foods that is going to help someone with their healing physically. Um, maybe even Ayurveda, vegetarianism, veganism, whatever that is, is a specific diet that may be helping someone in their own healing and growth, okay? Tell me more about August for Libra. Okay, so then we have First Light. And it says, beginning a new cycle. I feel like someone's starting to wake up a lot earlier in the morning. Maybe they haven't always been morning people, but just kind of having that goal for themselves, they're kind of seeing how much more they can get done by waking up earlier. Very specific, not for everyone. But definitely new beginnings. Definitely new beginnings, especially in career and finances. I do feel, even with unrequited love, if there has to be an ending or realizing that there's not much more that can go off of, I promise, closed doors open new ones, and by the end of the month, you're going to see a potential new spark here with the lovers and the seven of pentacles. And spirit does not want you to miss out on this opportunity. And I do kind of feel, for those of you who may be burned out spiritually, emotionally, you need to tap into that inner warrior you always have within you, Libra, to push through in the middle of the month. Because there is something coming forward that is going to be exactly what you hope for, manifested, and it's going to bring a 
brand new chapter in your life that's ready to unfold here, okay? I do feel whatever's happening in August is preparing you for a very amazing fall season or for those of you in the summer hemisphere, spring season. It's like, I feel the next three months after August is going to be your time. So this is all preparation now. Lay down a solid foundation, build upon a strength, a prosperity, an abundance. And looking back, you're going to see how much it really did pay off, Libra. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and get one more card for you guys and see if there's any advice from your angels, anything else that Spirit, God, the universe would like to tell you about August. Anything else? Ooh, you got two. So first one, Archangel Gabriel, and it says, you have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. So Archangel Gabriel is the messenger archangel. You have an importance of expressing yourself, of expressing your creativity. And I do feel you're very gifted with something particular that is creative, that is unique, that is unlike anything else that someone could bring to this platform in this lifetime. And you need to focus and hone in on that. And that is what will give you your windfall. That is what will give you your payday. And you can make a living off of that. That is something Archangel Gabriel wants to tell you. And then we have Akasha, and it says, You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine mission. I feel like towards the end of the month, you are the catalyst for someone's spiritual awakening, maybe through being an example, seeing your really amazing comeback by, you know, just inspiring someone here by seeing your story, by seeing how you've come up out of this, is going to want someone to know your secrets, to know how you did it, and maybe get advice for you in some way. But whether it's the creative arts or even the spiritual realm, if some of you guys kind of wanted to focus on spirituality, maybe make a career out of your spiritual gifts, that's another way you guys can make a windfall. And I think you guys are all discovering what it is that your purpose is, what it is that it's willing to fight for, what it is to willing to kind of close doors and open new ones, and how that is all meant to happen for you. That's what you're discovering in August, and that's a powerful thing to tap into. And you're unstoppable, Libra. I'm excited to see it. Thank you so, so much, Libra, for joining me for this reading. I really hope it resonated with you. I hope it's giving you the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to your month in August. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below. Hit that like button. and Don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Libra, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Libra.